any slight rip on them, somebody's staying. Oh, oh hey, Sean! <laughs> hey, this is our. Hey, look at that woman balancing that thing on her head. <laughs> and then um, old mate pulled up next to her, so she must have been selling some kind of food or some sort. What oh, is coconut? It? Oh. Yeah. oh, how much? One thousand real. Okay. One thousand real, cool, yeah, we'll give it a go. Okay. Good morning, guys. Oh, actually, afternoon. Hello. <laughs> um, so, welcome back to Siem Reap in Cambodia. Mm. We don't have anything planned for this video. We're just going to go for a walk, maybe grab some lunch, and just talk about, I guess, why we're grateful to be back in Siem Reap in Cambodia. Um, we've had about two weeks off work just editing some videos um, and we're feeling really good and inspired again and ready to just create some more content for you guys. The energy here, the people here have just uh, reinvigorated us and yep. we are feeling fresh with my haircut. When we were on the plane on the way to Siem Reap they kept on saying Siem Reap. Some so, <laughs> if you hear us saying Siem Reap, we're just having a bit of a laugh. Um, that's why. It was yeah. pretty funny. But yeah, yeah, let's go for a walk, maybe find some lunch, and see where this day takes us. So we're pretty hungry and we're going to go straight down to Try Me, which is a place that we have had lunch at before and it's really good. Food in Cambodia is just beautiful, like it's so healthy. I think they use less oil, all the veggies and stuff just seem really fresh so it's um, yeah, just really good to be feeling strong and healthy again, especially after being sick for so long. Yeah, yeah, the the food it feels it feels a lot healthier and also you do get included in your meals a lot more vegetables which is really really good. Yeah. The food that they do have on offer in Cambodia I enjoy more because I get a more well rounded balanced meal. Mm. And the protein is a good amount of protein and you've got the the carbs with the, the noodles and the rice and then you just got vegetables yeah and they're included in the meal which is so good so yeah good for you so good for me and for Dupree so <laughs> it's great it's great it is Siem really Reap. awesome I don't know if you uh, probably could have guessed it before watching our previous videos or just how we're feeling at the moment but um, very very big fans of this place yeah So I have gone for a dragon fruit shake and you got a beer. I got a beer on draft. Frank has gone with the fried rice. <laughs> the king of fried rice. My, um, I'm a fried rice connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> And it is beautiful. Great. It's such a huge serving too, like for what, like two dollars? Um, I think, yeah, this one's two dollars fifty. I've gone for the glass noodle salad, and it looks so good. Like it just looks so fresh. Yeah, that's delicious. Glassy indeed. Mm. Just whatever dressing they've got on them. The veggies are fresh. Just a good chat. And you're enjoying so, it? Yep. And you got a side of nuts too. Yeah. Oh, we'll put it on them. There you go. Sarah's nutted all over her food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. Hello! How are you today? How are good. you today? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> nice, Remark. Glad to meet you. <laughs> We got them and then these two folks. Yeah, yeah. So how much was that? Um, seven dollars twenty-five US. Um, so we've said in other videos before they use Cambodian real and US dollars here. Um, we have had a few times where our USD hasn't been accepted, so we're trying to get our change back in real now. Because <laughs> if there's any slight 
any slight rip on them, somebody stained. Oh, oh hey, Sean! <laughs> hey, this is, is our friend, the Frugal oh, Wanderer. This is our neighbor, the Frugal Wanderer. Yeah. I saw you guys coming out, I recognised the filming attire, so I was like, oh, God. That's this it. is our first, um, <laughs> our first video back filming after Malaysia, so, yeah. I'm so glad you guys are here. Yeah, yeah happy days. Enjoy. Thanks. Where are you up to? Wandering. He's going for a frugal, frugal wonder. That's it, that's it. <laughs> I've got an agenda, I've got two bucks to spend, I'm going to get something to eat. Right. You get yourself some real, they'll take it exactly the same as US dollars, mm. and it can be scrunched up, you know, obviously not ripped in half, but they're going to take it. The yeah. US dollars, it's, they're easily, we have easily lost, faced, yeah. faked, and yeah, they're just, they're a pain in the backside. So. They really are. Yeah. We've lost um, a little bit of money on it too, because... Like we had like a $50 note, it's got like a little bit of a, I don't know, mark on it, like red texture or something, and they just don't accept it. So we now have like a $50 note that we cannot use anywhere. Look at it, So we've been, um, Looking at doing this, going to the Apopo rats, um, basically they are giant African rats, I'm pretty sure, and they sniff out landmines and tuberculosis. So something that I absolutely love about Sam Reap is that it is quite a large city, um, so there's around 250,000 people that live in Siem Reap or in the Siem Reap province, um, but Siem Reap itself feels like a small town. Like you never really feel like you're in a big city like what you do in um, Bangkok or KL because it's just, just got a very local and very friendly sort of feel about it. People here are... Um, just very beautiful and very supportive. Cambodian people are absolutely lovely. Cambodian food's absolutely lovely. It's one of the main reasons why we decided to come back here, just because Siem Reap just has such a good vibe about it. It's really hard to explain, but it is just, um, just a really good place. A bit like a Muay Thai match. <laughs> well, I don't know. With that, um, who knows? It could be a wedding in there or something because yeah. of the white um, ooh, temporary thing. I don't know. Words are hard for me most of the time. I don't know. I thought the truck was making the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Is that actually a wedding? So, on closer inspection, it is the white tent making the music, not the truck as I thought. <laughs> Good boy! Southeast Asia and it happens everywhere it's not just Cambodia like we saw it in Malaysia we've seen it in Thailand I'm sure it happens in Indonesia as well um, just like pet shops that have their pets just not very well looked after like they're just in small cages it's just really sad like especially because animals don't really have much of a choice um, I don't know just it's one of the things about being here that just like always gets me yeah, yeah, it is. Um, we haven't seen it too bad in here, but uh, especially, especially in Malaysia, once again, Malaysia, mm. they had, um, you know, like a small cage and they had like three, four three cats. Three or four cats in the, um, like, in a cage the same size as that one that you just saw the dog in. Yeah. Like four cats, yeah, full it's, grown. Yeah, it's fucking 
can't hate it. So yeah, um, yeah, I really wish that but. they do better in terms of um, um, housing animals like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. To be honest, that fuck really bad. I was just about to say, look at that woman balancing that thing on her head. <laughs> and then um, old mate pulled up next to her, so she must have been selling some kind of food or some sort. I absolutely love some of the architecture in Siem Reap. It's just really nice to look at. Hello. <laughs> Oh, coconut? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, how much? One thousand real. Okay. One thousand real, cool, yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah. How do, does that hurt your head? <laughs> Is it sleep? She's taking them all. No, you can't. We want one. <laughs> Is it is it sweet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you make it yourself? Yeah. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Give it a give it a shout. All right. That was cool. I was just admiring her um, skills having that on her head. And we're like, let's just try it. Yeah. Oh my god. This is difficult. Let's give it a go. <laughs> That's really good. What do you think it is, the, um, that, this stuff here? What do you I think, think it's is? rice. Oh, yeah. And I think what's inside is, um, I don't know, it's like syrupy. It's got a bit of crunch in it too. Yeah, it's really not yummy. From the, not from the like coconut, the yeah. shredded coconut, but from something Let else. Let me just, I'll see if I can pick one up and bite it in half. Yeah, just see what's fingers. inside. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> can you spread it? Open it up. It might be condensed milk. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not really that, good. Um, thousand real? Like 25 cents. Yep. So we're just about on Hub Street now. Mm. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll go for a walk down here and see what else interesting happens. That thing that that lady just gave us was so good. Yeah, yeah, it was really, wasn't it? Mm, um, yeah. Quite a lot of different flavours in it. Um, mm. 1,000 real, 25 US cents. This is definitely the happening place, the Hub Street. and. Mm. Um, where you will be offered tuk-tuks and other things. And we'll let your uh, imagination do the rest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Some more of that the beautiful Siem Reap architecture. So this is like the main sort of tourist area. And um, even though it's like the main tourist area, it doesn't really feel too touristy, which we really like. So we're going to try to suss out some um, some clothes for Sarah for this uh, Southeast Asian weather, but there are a lot of places that sell some good and also some bad knockoff NBA jerseys, sports jerseys in general. This place here is really good, $10 each, and they actually look legit as opposed to some of them which just look like a preschool has put them together. <laughs> it's so hot in here, oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah, I'm just walking around looking at things and uh, I'm wet. Alright, so, didn't buy anything. <laughs> I think um, I just, I'm a person that prefer, prefers shopping on my own. Um, so I'm gonna go back on my own and have a proper look. Yeah. 
so this place here is a um it's got a dog rescue and um yeah we should we can probably go there one day and show ya so we're heading back to our place now as the day has gotten on it has gotten hotter um so now i'm just like literally just sweating just walking around slowly not even particularly exerting ourselves hard but there's just sweat dripping everywhere all right guys we're back in our room now um and we've been here for two weeks but we haven't done like a little room tour yet so we'll just show you around the room um if you've watched frugal wanderer it's exactly the same as his room but we'll show you anyway <laughs> so the front part of the room you've got um, just like your kitchen, water, cupboards and everything there. Then you've got a washing machine, um, fridge, table and chairs. In here is the ginormous king size bed. And then outside, I don't want to go out there because it's hot, but you've got a little balcony. And then table and chairs there's another table and chairs here as well so I've been using this one as my workspace and Frank's been using this one and then bathroom pretty much typical Asian style wet room bathroom type thing and that's pretty much it aircon cupboard space Got a fan as well, which you need because the aircon doesn't quite cut it. And you can, it is a studio, but you can um, shut this so that there's privacy in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we paid $250 American for the room to rent for a month. Um, we are on a lease, which is really cool it's better than just being like in an airbnb or whatever and then we also paid a 250 and fifty dollar deposit as well which at the end of the lease they're going to take out the electricity and like all the extra little charges and stuff that we get yeah yeah so that uh those that big bottle of water is um going to be taken out as well get one of those a week they bring it up for you as well so they uh we don't have to take it up three flights of stairs mm -hmm which is happy days for us. But um, yeah, water from the tap, I would assume is not drinkable. So yep. you do need a bottle of water and um, yeah, that, that was a great job. It's like you know, 10 liters or something, maybe more, 20 liters. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, it is good. We also get the, um, the cleaning done once a week as well included as part of the rent um so they come in every friday and just give the room a little bit of a spruce up yeah which they've uh just done so yeah that's why it that's, looks so tidy in here yeah that's it it smells good and it mm -hmm. uh, looks it looks tidier than it uh, normally is but yeah 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 it, it, it's a good little spot um mm -hmm. it's a beautiful building there is absolutely no noise from any of the neighbors uh mm -hmm. even even outside there's there's no there's no noise so that's um that's really good um, there's no neighbours above because they haven't finished uh, renovating it yet mm. and if they are renovating it we can't hear them so that's um, it's really good it's a nice calm cool place that we can just relax recharge mm. and um, yeah, just spend some time hanging out before we take off again anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed this little walk around as I said we didn't really have anything planned for this video but we just um, yeah wanted to go for a walk around and say hi to Sam Reap again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, say hi, have a look at uh, if anything's changed and mm. not much has changed. Yeah. But um, that's that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, for definitely sure. A good thing. Plenty more Cambodia content to come as well. Yeah, anyway, that's the end of the video, so please remember to like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video just around Sam Reap. <laughs> that we will. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.